In this video, I will show you how to use Studio Bot in your Android Studio. You can download the latest Canary version of Android Studio Iguana. Use the link provided in the description or just Google it. Then go ahead and download it by accepting the conditions. Make sure you select the right operating system and chip and then download it. The download will take a few minutes. So just wait for it to complete. So once the download is done, you can start the install process. You can select the default options. Just keep, keep clicking next and accept the terms and conditions and you should be all set. It may again take a few minutes. Okay, now that the download is complete, I'm just starting the Android Studio and I'll go ahead and create a new project. So let's do a simple empty activity project. You can also select from other templates, uh, but I am going with an empty activity project. I'll go with the default options and then it will start to create the project. The project is ready. So you may be familiar with the studio already. So I'm not going to go into the studio details. What we are interested in is how to use the studio bot. So how to do that? So for that, I think I'm just waiting for this load to be complete in the left pane. Let's give it a minute or two. Okay, so the project is ready now. It takes a few minutes uh, if you are creating a project for the first time because it tries to configure all the dependencies, etc. Now the important thing which I want to show you is what's new in the current Android Studio. The important thing is Studio Bot and this is what I'm going to demo to you. So Studio Bot is an AI powered coding assistant. If you are familiar with Copilot, then you know it's something similar. So let's see how to use it. What we can do is go to view, go to tool windows and then you will see an option of Studio Bot. Click on this and you will see this panel open up. This is the chat panel. But for to use Studio Bot, you need to log into Google. So let's do that. Actually, I'm already having an account and I'm signed in. So once you give it the required privileges and you click on allow, I think you should be all set. It's success. So let's get back to our studio and you will see the message logged in. So click on next and you know, just run through these steps. Just need to accept their legalities and that's it. And let's ask it questions like, how can I use location in my project? And you will get the answers. And this is, uh, this is so useful, right? Uh, you will get the answer how to use the API, etc, etc. And there are a lot of questions you can ask it. So it's like chat GPT, GPT for you in your Android studio. And without leaving the studio, you can get all the answers. And uh, let's ask something more. For example, can you write a unit test for the code? Let's see what it comes up with. And if you see, it has picked up the context, the code, and then written unit test for you. So this is just, you know, a flavor of what you can do. You can obviously do a lot more. So go ahead, try it out. I hope this introductory uh, lecture was useful for you. And, uh, you know, you enjoy using StudioBot. Thanks.